too. Some members of the family whose pedigree is shown below have cystic fibrosis, a disease with an autosomal recessive inheritance pattern. What is the genotype of the individuals marked number one, two, and three? Use big F to indicate the dominant allele and little f to indicate the recessive allele. So we can see typical autosomal inheritance recess, uh, recessive inheritance pattern because I see roughly equally affected males and females. I've got two females affected, one male, and it does skip a generation. So they're asking me number one, two, and three. What are their genotypes? Well, in order to be affected, since this is autosomal recessive, an individual must be homozygous recessive. So homozygous recessive would equal they're going to be affected by cystic fibrosis. Heterozygotes are carriers. And then we have individuals who are homozygous dominant. They're neither carriers nor are they affected by the disease. I really don't even need to, to look up here. I can go straight to here and say that this couple, neither of them, them is affected, yet they have offspring with the disease. So since they have offspring with the disease, but they are not affected, they have to be carriers. Both this individual and her husband are heterozygotes. And then they each passed on, here's my number two, anyone who's affected I know is little f, little f. So number one is a carrier. She's a heterozygote. Number two is affected. She's homozygous recessive. Number three, number three is not affected. So I know she has one normal allele. However, her mother has the disease. So the only possibility that she can get from her mother in terms of allele is this little f. See, the father has a normal at least one normal allele. We don't know what his second allele is. So number one is a carrier. Number two is affected. And number three, both of these actually, would be carriers.